Hey everyone, Seizure from the Future here. Um, I just wanted to give you guys a heads up. The footage of me drawing, it got corrupted. And um, I just, the reason why this video is so late is because I spent like so much time trying to recover those corrupted files and it just didn't work out in the end. So this video's editing is a little bit strange. Um, you might like it, you might not. I don't know, we'll see. Now I'll let Seizure from the past take over now. So, enjoy. <laughs> Hello everyone. Hello fellow artists and or other. My name is Ollie Mori and welcome to Seizure Art. So today I was thinking about doing a character design and what better character design than to do a Star Wars character design. And I thought since the Star Wars movies come out it would be cool to do a Jedi force wielder sort of thing. I was thinking how am I gonna create this? How am I gonna create this badass looking Jedi sort of person? And I was thinking we should use Jazza's Arty Games. It's a really cool app made by Jazza. If you don't know who Jazza is, go look him up right now. It's um, Draw with Jazza at YouTube. He's a really cool artist and I just think just think he's so cool and he's just um, he's created this game and it just really helps out if you want to create scenes or just create anything in general. I haven't explored the full extent of this app but um, all I know is the, the custom generator. So what this does, custom generator, like you can create your own lists of attributes um, to the characters. It picks like um, one from each list and it just all smushes them in together to create a character or a scene or anything you want. So um, I thought this would be really helpful um, with creating my Star Wars character. So yeah, this is this is the one of the many features. I haven't explored all of it. So before we do the list, we need to figure out what lists to add into this. I think first we have the obvious when we want the gender, whether it's male or female. I think that's pretty important. Then we've got, got the force team, um, whether it's Sith or Jedi or somewhere in between. Um, what else? What else? What else? Oh, weapon. So what type of lightsaber? What type of lightsaber? How many are there? Maybe this list is be being bigger, becoming bigger than I anticipated. And, 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 race. Race. There's a lot of alien races out there. And I think we should do something special. Something special about the character. He's a hermit or he's... I don't know. It's just, just something special. We'll find out. I think these are the, the main subjects, I think, we want to keep around um, for our lists. So let's start. Gender, here we go. Force team, there's Sith, Jedi, and Grey. Next we have lightsaber. All right, let's do normal. There's a double-ended one. There's a staff, uh, two swords. That's another one. Let me look it up, actually. Wow, there's a lot. There's a lot. There's curved hilted, Topher style, wrist hilt. They have a whip. They have a whip. They have a whip lightsaber. What? <laughs> oh, one. <laughs> okay, I think I might just go with what I got. Because there's way too many. Lightsaber complete. Race. Ooh, this is going to be fun. Oh, this is going to be fun. Okay, I'm going to look up some Star Wars races. Of course, let's go with human. A to Togrita. Togrita. A Tals. Tals. That was T A T A. I can't talk. A Tusken Raider. A Tusken Raider as a Jedi. That's so cool. Alright. Keep on coming. Keep on coming. Gungan. Screw that. Mmm. Kamino in. Kamino. Those tall, lanky, slender. That would be cool. They're very pretty. Mmm. Pu Pu Puan. 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 That's the. Mmm. I'll leave, I'll leave a picture up for you to see, but they're really creepy. Wookie! How could I forget Wookie? Of course. Let's do it. Let's put Jawa in there. They're so cute. Katha. Katha. What's Katha? Hmm. They seem to be like tiger creatures. Hmm. Right, one more. One more. A Biff. A Biff. 
the ones who play the music. I love, love those. Very talented. Sweet! All right, we have our 10, and there's something special. Okay, let's do robotic limbs. Outcast, like, um, they still hold to their order, but they're just, they're, they're shunted from it. Battle damaged? Oh, what's another one? Um. Let's do, let's do five, five attributes. How about other race? Like they, they choose to wear the clothing of the, of another race, of another alien culture. Other race? One more, one more. Bounty Hunter, Bounty Hunter. Dun. All right, we have our five specials. They're very special in every single way. Sweet, all right. We're done. We're done. Okay. <laughs> I didn't think it would go that quickly. So, we've reached the point where we're gonna find out who our Star Wars character is. And here we go. Oh, whoops. No. <laughs> that was anticlimactic. Okay. So, a female who is a Sith has a staff lightsaber and is poor Anne and is an outcast. Hmm. This is gonna be interesting. All right, let's um, let's do this. Okie dokes. All right, so now we're just gonna do the beginner sketch, just um, roughing out what they look like and how how they would look as um, an outcast. They're quite tall creatures, poor Anne. So we have our general image. Now we just need to do a female version. So they have quite elongated faces. Well, he elongated everything really. I love character design. It's just like fashion design and, and costume design except you're basing a personality behind them. You figure out how they look like and how they feel. Um, what's their story? What's their story behind it? I suppose that you can do that in, in, in costume. Well, they, there is a background story in costume design and there is a background story in fashion design and you base a theme around fashion. But this is like char with character design, yeah, like it's almost you're creating your own original character, it feels like. All right, I'm gonna do a couple more figures and then uh, I'll uh, put some ideas um, onto each every one of them and then we'll, we'll see how it goes. This is true Slender Man style. This is Slender Man's bae. I'm drawing Slender Man's girlfriend. Pretty sure he went like that. So, Outcast. What I generally think with Outcast is, like, they they don't belong anywhere. So they, they have to, like, survive on the generosity of others. They have what they used to wear from where they've come from is gone, is in tatters, and it's, it's all, you know, shreds and stuff, and they, they, they just have to make up their own clothes. And what I'm seeing from the, 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 the alien race that I'm doing, what I can gather, it seemed to be a very upper class sort of race. I'm kind of digging the high collar. Hey, look, it's, it's night time. Why is that, Ollie? Well, Ollie, my camera ran out of battery, and so I had to recharge it. Hmm, that's a little bit of a dilemma. <laughs> I don't know why I felt the need to do that. But I'm back now. So, where were we? Yes. Yeah, like a sort of a low hanging hood. It almost looks wet. Like, like wet hair. Maybe I'll make this one the, like, the priest's rags or something. She could have flowing robes. Like, she's trying to, she's in disguise. She's running away from something. Almost like the, the emperor. I could have, like, a Big thick belt, big belt. Maybe I just wear pants. Maybe, maybe some wristbands actually. Some gigantic wristbands that somehow stay on her hands. <laughs> she doesn't look sithy enough, you know? She doesn't look evil. She needs to look more badass, you know? She, right there, she just looks like a common civilian. What is trending for sith fashion right now? Let's try contrasting it with big boots. See there, she kind of looks like a mechanic. She's got the gloves, she's got the boots. She's hiding as a mechanic. <laughs> nah, I'm not happy with that one. All right, last one. Let's, let's make this one count. Let's go for a more exposed look. 
Yes, Egyptian. Ah, oh, like a mummified sort of look. Cause she's got, she's thin, she's very thin. Her species is very thin and very tall. But I'm gonna move towards more of um, the, um, a mummified look. Very tall and lanky, but uh, also almost looking undead. And that will, that will play out the outcast look. I think we might go back to this um, original design with the hood. Looking up mummy references from the mummy movie. I loved it, um, the movie when I was a kid. Mm, yeah. So Egyptians would wear a lot of jewellery, a lot of golds and turquoise. And she needs to look evil enough to look like a Sith. Okay, so I think we have our, our, th our four uh, main character designs. I'll, I'll tell you what I think of them. I, I love... I love the this this one right here, but it's just sort of I don't know. It's it's too it's too um, similar to the original to the original um, character. Um, with this one, I like it. I don't know. I I, I like it. Um, it's just that it looks too much like what their her civilization would naturally wear. You know, more like you could just walk down the street and you know, just nobody would give her like a, a second glance or anything. To other, that's probably the point. Seeing as she's an outcast, I don't know. It's not dramatic enough. It's not dark enough. This one, <laughs> our, our number number three, it looks a little funny. It looks like yeah, she just looks like a mechanic. Oh, it's just a weird combination of like I just I wish I. Say no to the, the boots and the gloves. I just, I'm not feeling the boots or the gloves. And onto our fourth one. I love. I love it. I, lo I love the mummy look. I love it. It's just the right combination because when I think mummy, I just think dead. Skinny. Barely any skin on them. Barely any meat. She's probably half starving. Just nowhere to go. We'll see how that goes. Hey everyone, it's Bright again. Anyway, we're back. What my next step is, um, uh, is finding out what her lightsaber looks like. Okay, so her lightsaber is a staff, so we can we can play around with that. And seeing as she's Egyptian, with Egyptian scepters, they seem to have a lot of animal heads on things. So we have one where it's got like an Anubis head. So. So far, I'm not really feeling crazy about any of them. Maybe I need to go with a different approach. Because so far, what I'm doing is just putting little, like, artifacts on the end of the stuff. It'd be great if we could have, like, a, like, the saber, like, in this shape. Just got an idea. Okay, so here we have our lightsabers. I did copy the, um, Kylo Ren. Alright, so now we've got our lightsaber figured out. Let's do the pose. I'm gonna do a whole bunch, and then, um, We'll see what we like in the end. So here we have our thumbnail poses. I <laughs> I like how they get like they're more scruffy looking. Like the more I like draw them, <laughs> the more I pro progress through them through the page. <laughs> so it's like one here, and then it's like down here where it's just so ugh, so scruffy. But we're just creating we're just creating like small little. Um, yeah, small little sketches just to see what the general pose would look like for the character. I gotta say, I do like this one as well as uh, this one, but I'm feeling more towards this one. Because it's like sort of the combination of the two. So now that we've done the poses, let's move on to the face. The, for the general Paul Ann face, um, they're quite creepy, but we're going for a more majestic because it's a female. Getting very Cape Blanchett vibes. Cape Blanchett turned egghead. <laughs> Sorry to dis dis you, um, Cape Blanchett. <laughs> you you are very beautiful. You don't deserve this. Okay, okay, I'll be right back. We're done with our face designs. Number one, we have this more theatrical. Egyptian look. Number two is more like more tribal. It's more uh, the, the smear across the underneath the eyes I really like but um, uh, underneath the, the face kind of looks like she's got a beard but I, I still like it. It's still, it's still very um, striking and um, she still looks badass. Uh, number three you just got a single line going down the face 
I don't know why. I have no, I have no excuse for that. I just thought just a single line just across the face. Number four, we got like a sort of, I don't know, she kind of looks like a princess, which, um, you know, I, I thought look, it looks really cool, but it doesn't look menacing enough. It doesn't look sithy, sithy enough. Number five, I really like. I really like this one. Yeah, I just, I, I really like it. I love the the oval um, in the middle of her head. Um, and I love the, the makeup on her cheekbones. It really accentuates the, the cheekbones and the, the, the makeup around the eyes make um, the eyes stand out a lot as well. With number six, you just got more like a, I call it the, what you call it, the bleeding, the bleeding makeup. Because um, it kind of looks like she's bleeding from the eyes, nose and mouth. Um, I like this one too. But um, not as much as number five. This looks very, very gothic. I think that's like my my second favorite. But it, yeah, um, between number five and number six, I think I might go with with number six. Uh, number five, with with number five. Onto the the final drawing, final piece. We got some A4 Bristol board paper to start off with. Not to start off with for our, for our final um, drawing. Okay, so now we're done with the final inking. Um, I gotta say, it's turned out really great. I actually love her. She almost looks tribal, you know? She looks... She definitely looks like a loner. But she just looks so majestic and just... I don't know, there's, a, there's some just aspect about her that makes her look just so awesome. You see, I've um, added in a few features, like a, like a chain here on her, on her waistline. I don't know what function that provides. But I kind of feel like, you know, like, um, it's a, it's one of those things where, like, you sort of achieve goals and then you sort of, like, take a, take a ring off or something. I'm not quite sure. It's like she's keeping to her oath to something. I'm not quite sure. I might be just making it all up in my head, but I don't know. I added in these spikes here, like, sort of show that if, like, her lightsaber doesn't become available to her, she'll be able to just go whack, you know, and just, you know, take him out that way. I just love, I just love the fact that she just looks more like a, like a, a mummy, you know, that, that aspect of the mummy in her. Um, she just mo looks more like an outsider than ever. It just turned out to look so much cooler than I actually e ever anticipated.
everyone. I hope you liked this video. Thank you so much for being so patient. Um, you know who I'm talking about for the, the guys who are watching. Uh, a big learning curve with this uh, first video. A lot, a lot of big mistakes were made and it, it gave me a lot of insight on how to make this channel grow and I, I hope I had a lot of fun I had a lot of fun with um, doing this uh, making this video so yeah thank you again for being so patient please go check out some of my other pages DeviantArt Instagram and so on and so forth um, please if you'd like donate uh, all donations will purely go to this channel I, I promise uh, I know it's not a big channel yet and uh, there's only a couple of videos out but um, I would very much appreciate it. It would it would help me a lot with getting um, new materials and hopefully that would help me uh, to provide new content uh, for, for you guys and um, be more flexible with what you guys would want. I had a lot of fun uh, drawing this original character. I, I still I still don't know what to call her. Um, if you like this sort of content, uh, please go to go subscribe I'd really appreciate that and um, leave a comment down below on what else I should do for you guys uh, thanks again for watching okay bye